So here, I hope, let me share my screen to all of you. So you can get the idea how we can do and how we can move for those type of things. Are you able to see my screen? Everyone, please confirm if you can see. So now I'm going to install the MySQL Workbench. Got it. So MySQL, MySQL Workbench, I'm going to install and that will be going to use for the my GUI based tools. So as you all are aware, MySQL Workbench is a graphical user interface tool, which is a cross platform. You are able to monitor visual database design, those all the things you are able to do. And MySQL Workbench tool is really a good tool. It is open source tool. Of course, then MySQL Oracle has customized it and they have given the some good features over there. But you can use as a community edition, enterprise edition, as well as a standard edition. Everyone have their own. And this is the most popular tool for the DBA as well as developer and data architect. Visually, they can look into those. So installing the Oracle Enterprise Linux or standard edition is the same way. So let me go for that. And for that, I need a repository, am I correct? The first of all, I need a repository. So I am going to use that in my repository. And for repository, what I can do, let me open the my new terminal here. Of course, based on the your version, you can use. I am using the latest Oracle Linux. Okay, let me zoom it so it will be visible to all of you. Is it visible? Everyone, is it visible to you? Yeah, so for you, just you have to check the as per the your version and then I can do it. So what it will do, it will just going to download the repository from the there. If you can see the download has done. Okay. After downloading the repository, we need to install it. So let me check first the my repository. So this is the my repository. I'm just checking which I have. So here you can see update and installations. And now we are having this repository. Now let me install the my workbench. So installing, you can use the yum command, yum install, and you can use the, no problem, so I will give you the time, don't worry. Oh, yeah, 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 I know. So here, just understand the concept first and then we can, you all can install. Let me install first on my machine. So here I am installing yum install MySQL Barkbench community. Got it. I am using the community edition. So similar way you can use the enterprise edition, no problem at all. Depend on the license you have, standard or enterprise. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, yeah, that repository you have installed for the MySQL. And this is, yeah, 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 yeah. So I have just, just given the link to the MySQL repository for the workbench that I have given to that. Now my repository is available in my YUM. So based on that, I'm just going to install. This is the actual installation is happening. YUM install MySQL workbench community. So that is just starting the installation. It will take a couple of minutes. So you can see the total download size, it is asking 41 MB and installation size is 212 MB. Let me put the Y, yes, do it. And of course, 
the workbench need a python because it is inbuilt with the python so that's why the python you can see here it is downloading and installing rpm then library they did and finally they came to the mysql workbench so now you can see the python installation has started library zip installation is done and finally it came to the mysql workbench installation is going on so once my installation will be done then i will give you the time for that and after installation it is just verifying it so download package has installed and good you are ready to use that one so you can see your installation has completed anyone have any doubt any question till yet of course you all have, will get the chance for the practice on your machine you have to install so here let me give you the overview what we did i have just given the repository location this is the fedora project over there the rpm is available so this i have given after that what it is done the repository they have taken for this connected to this location and just they have connected after that what i did i have just checked the my repository so here you can see rpm ivh epl release no arc rpm that has installed and then finally we came to the installation part so after did i have gone for the installation so in installation they have installed it now we are ready for that let me close this and i can go how to open it so if you can click over there so you have a here the terminals you have a those all the things help contains software so those all you can able to see you are able to use as per the, your business need those all we can do it now it's time to open it so just we have to go for installed what are the things and from there also you can use or maybe the other way also i am going to guide you so just give me the one minute i can log out from this and i can log in again so how you can launch it that will be the one question so for launching it you have to go to the application and the application once you will click application program mysql workbench then you can get it got it so let me go to the application and then we can see the mysql work so here mysql workbench i just selected it going to open it and this is the first time you are going to install the my so i need to connect it as well so let me connect this first are you able to see the workbench guys can you confirm yeah so here for the new connection you can go like this or maybe you can click on to there so i am just going here it is by default taken the first one otherwise alternate option you can click on to the plus symbol and then you can give the your connection name whatever you want then the host name the port number those and this is the lots of people have asked hey how i can see those all so based on the server you can see those all the thing that is the one way you can and connection name suppose i am just going for the dbt mysql so db training mysql and then it is asking the host name by default linux this is the my ip address or you can use a local host or whatever the ip address you have that you can use like in my case if i can go for the ip address let me go for the another terminal i have config 
So I am using the IP address 107. So this is the my local 127.0.0.1. This is the default one for the all the your machine or otherwise you can use like this. So you can give your IP address, whatever the IP address you have and the port number. Of course, I'm connecting with the root user. So root and default schema means which database you want to connect as a default. So that, but I don't want to connect like this. I can click on the test connection. So what it said, not allowed connection to the MySQL server. Why? Because there is the security term in the MySQL. We need to authenticate this IP to connect into that. So instead of that IP, I'm going to use the default, which is like every Linux machine have local IP, which is called 127.0.0.1. And let me try with that one. This is a, like a local host. And now I can see the my test connection. It is asking me the password. What the password I have given, if I remember correctly, dbat, dba, t at the rate one, two, three. And I can click OK. So successfully made the MySQL connection. I can put the OK. And then I can put over there OK. So here you can see. I can click the directly onto there. And then my MySQL will open like this. What you have done on the Windows also. Similar way, you can. Here you can see the server status. So your server is running as of now. And of course, this tool is really good tool when, of course, based on the, if you are using the enterprise edition, then there will be a much and much monitoring and other things. But standard edition also, they have the very big, but compared to that community edition have the less, but yes, it's a good tool. The people who are the new into the MySQL for you. And then here you can see the my database status, their load, the connection information, the traffic which is coming, then InnoDB buffer cache, those all the things related to the, your database information, related to the, your performance schema. Pardon? Your voice is not coming. Your voice is breaking. Can you repeat? Guys, and then similar way you can see here the other details as well. Yeah, yeah. I was asking if the voice was breaking. Someone has asked the question. Am I correct? Then you can see. Okay, okay. Background right. Here you can see the client connections, the connections which we have connected. If you remember, I have connected from the multiple locations, so MobileX and those all the things. So those, the root machine I have connected, then users and privilege. So depend on that, uh, especially why uh, we have the MySQL user and these are the Oracle supplied MySQL user. Have you remember when we were doing the remove the anonymous user and something? Similar way export import you are able to do for which database. I will guide on to those all the part, but we will prefer the command line to learning purpose. Of course, GUI is will good. A start a stop you can able to do from here also. A stop server, bring the offline. Then you can use the dashboard. The dashboard will give you the information about your network the MySQL levels and the, your storage. So in order to be buffer pool, I'm using so for that. How much is the use? What is the efficiencies? Those are the trades, select, insert, update. What is happening? What is learn going in your database? These all you are able to monitor whenever you are doing the this thing. Always make sure this is really a good tool and it's a open source tool. Of course, Oracle has taken and then they have customized it and they have given that with the enterprise edition with lots and lots of other features. But yes, without a license also you can use it. The community edition which I am showing here, 
so that's a really good and it will help you to understand the concept when you are connecting with the like any other machine so every time you don't need to connect to the that machine instead of you can use the one one machine on the as a monitoring workbench and then from there you are able to use it yeah someone someone was asking question yes you can yes or you can edit edit it both the way you can yeah so that's the things we have of course i will give you time you all have to do the practice as well so this is the mysql workbench it's really a good tool for the dbas for the architect for those who are using for the connections and they are using it the host name is basically you can use the local or ip address when you are connecting to that machine that ip need to be connected those all the things you can customize and you can use it as per the your business standard protocol those all the things you can customize based on the business need and that's about this performance report you are able to check so how much the memory and other things those also you are able to do for the total memory report so those way the event those all you are able to check the memory by the users how they are using memory by the host what is using the thread which we were discussing the two tray so based on that the thread allocated top memory by the thread how who is using for what the user you can see that connected from where got it then io level so for monitoring purpose we can use this in the more details got it database schema statics then those for which database what so for different one you can able to customize you can able to filter these all are there similar way performance schema setup you can able to see these all so i hope you are getting the idea about this tool is it okay everyone now it's time for you you can install i am just pinging you on the chat the link so you can follow that one and you can able to use it is it okay yes mm -hmm. yeah yes simple simply in, in the bin directory you can just check the change the directory and other thing you are able to use it yeah because on the same directory how you can use the multiple that's way yeah because already one installation they found so what extra feature you want to use it so those all the things because the same same version why you can use the multiple that's will be the one question different version you can use the multiple na yeah you can use you can use but what is the logic for that can you explain that why you need a <laughs> yeah yeah so then 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 what you can do from the other users you can connect or other directory during the installation it is asking just give the other directory and you can able to do it no problem at all only make sure the port number when it is asking you have to give the different port number so now it's your time for all of you you can install the mysql workbench on the linux machine so let me give you that <clears throat> 